Hey everybody, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can use a G3 character template to create your own custom multi-level multi-sprite character. So once you have a character like this, you can apply uh, with a simple click, you can apply a lot of template motions that are included with Crazy Talk Animator 3 and others available for separate purchase as well. Really simple and easy to animate them using these template motions. Alright, so what you want to do first is use your actor template that's found in the actor tab right here under character, under G3 human, and closer to the bottom you will find a human dummy. Alright, so you can use the front facing, F front facing, or S side facing at 45 degrees. Since our character is at a 45 degree angle, we're just going to use this side template right here. Alright, so just bring that in, you can click and drag it. And then you can press this zero key button right here to make sure that it is on the scene route. Alright, it's pretty important when you're creating your character. Alright, so what we're going to do next is go over here to composer mode. And we're going to start replacing the sprites on this character's uh, bone structure. All right. Now make sure it's important to make sure that your character is placed on the ground right here, which is the scene root. You can see that red line right there. Okay. Make sure that your sprite is not off somewhere else. And we'll talk about a little bit more about that later. So what I want to do first is select my hip bone here. And we're going to go into the sprite editor. You can also use the S hotkey. And you'll see that we have this, the hip bone, this entire sprite, the entire character sprite is assigned to the hip bone here. And it's just a reference image, all right? So what you want to do is you want to replace this with your own reference image. So uh, the image that you brought out of Photoshop. And uh, so what you can do is you can replace the current sprite right here or just double click it. And I'm going to bring in this base character right here. This is a character from our developer, Gary Pye. Uh, you can find his stuff on the marketplace or the content store. So what we want to do, it doesn't really matter how we resize our character, but what, what we want to make sure is we do is have the feet on the ground like I showed you before. All right, so let's resize it a little bit just so it's not, you know, um, the too different from the actual bone uh, structure. Again, this is just a reference bone structure. So you want to have your characters normally about this big, unless they're midgets or giants or something like that. All right, so we can just place the character right about here. That should be fine for uh, size and everything. And again, make sure the feet are placed right and it's centered on the scene root right here because that will uh, save you rotation issues a little bit later on. Okay, so now if we select, you know, any of the other bones right here, you can see there's nothing there. So what we want to do is we want to replace all of these different, uh, different areas, different sprites. But first we want to make sure that our bones are aligned to our character, all right? So... Right here, I'm just going to go now into uh, bone edit mode instead of sprite mode, so I can transform bone. And you can also use the three hotkey to do so. All right, so let's just place these bones where we want them to be. All right, and keep in mind that if you want to move a bone without affecting its uh, children on the scene root, then you need to hold the shift key and click and drag the little bone nubs right here. All right, bone nodes, whatever you want to call them. All right, so we'll just do that. For this left arm here, make sure that our bones are in place. And make sure that your bone is on your character's mesh as well. So it has to be on the image. Otherwise, you won't be able to replace the sprite a little bit later on. Okay. So uh, I'm going to just go here and make sure that everything is in its right place. Put a song in my head there. And there we go. Okay. So those are the arms done. And what you want to do for the neck is make sure that your uh, neck nub here is at the base of your neck. So you can see if I don't hold the shift key, it'll affect all the children, which is fine in this case. We'll just place it right there. And this top neck node can be a little bit further up there. That's where the head's going to rotate from. And then the top one, the little nub at the top, head nub, can be right on the top of the old noggin there. All right, we'll place that up there. And now for the head, or for the for the legs here. All right, so we'll do the same thing for the legs. I'm going to place that one right there. Uh, the knee can be up here. Holding shift key again. And the foot can be placed right there. Now the foot are a little bit more complicated, and I'll talk a little bit more about that later. Let's do the same thing for the right leg. And uh, place that one up there. And the feet will be right there. All right. Now for the feet, what we want to do is we want to make sure that the uh, bones are aligned properly. So there's, you can see for the feet, there's a lot of different bones on the feet. There's the right shank, which is the uh, calf or the or shin, whatever you want to call it. And then there's the right foot. And then there's the right foot too. Now right foot, you want to make sure this is placed at the rotation point of your uh, foot and your ankle. So about right there on this character. Okay. And we want to take right foot too. 
And we're going to bring this one down a little bit. Okay, so we're going to bring it down to the where the base of the sole is, basically. Okay, so your heel. That's going to be on the heel. And then our toe, the second one, is going to be right at the toe. Okay? And then there's a toe nub as well, which can be uh, right out there. Okay? And then for the second one, for the uh, left foot here, let's do the same thing. We're going to place this one at the rotation point. And then our left foot two, we're going to place this down here at the heel. Left toe. We're going to place the left toe right about there at the toe. And then the nub, we can just place it right up there. Okay? So that's fine. That is how you uh, assign the feet there. All right, so our bones are pretty much set up. Now it's time to replace all the sprites. This is the fun part. All right. And so what we can do is uh, select the part you want to replace first. It doesn't really matter in this case. What you want to do, though, is go to the Layer Manager. Now, you could do this with the Sprite uh, sprite Editor as well, but it's, uh, I'll show you why it's easier doing, the, doing it with the Layer Manager. With the Layer Manager, let's take this left arm, for example. Now, it doesn't matter how you scale your character at the beginning, because I'm going to select my left arm right here, and I'm going to replace the, or add the image, rather, right here, using this uh, button right here. And what you want to make sure you do is you want to make sure you keep Parent Transform, all right? So I'm going to actually deselect this first and show you why. I'm going to import in my left arm part right here. Because if you don't have that keep parent transform, what's going to happen is your thing's going to import in like this. You're going to have to resize it and everything and reposition it. And that's no fun for anybody. So let's just control Z and undo that. And if I try that again, this time using keep parent transform and I import it, then if I import in the left arm, it's going to place it exactly where I want it on the image, all right? So we don't have to do any movement or anything. You can see it's right there. We can, oops, that's the bones. I'm going to uh, control Z that and uh, sprite edit mode just to kind of show you there, all right? So position properly and everything, perfect. We don't have to spend all that time repositioning. So it's really useful, all right? Let's do the other parts quick, really quick here. So layer manager, where are we here? We're at the, uh... oh, this is the, uh, Forearm right there, we don't need that because the uh, arm sprite covers the forearm as well. All right, and we'll choose left hand here. Oh, we need to twirl down our left arm layer here, and we can find the left hand under there. So there you see it right here, and we can replace our add an image for that sprite as well. So let's do the same thing, keep parent transform, and find our left hand right there. And that's going to add in just fine. Now, what's going to happen if I try to preview this right now, which I'm going to do right now, uh, go ahead and preview it. If I try to move my left hand, now you can see it'll disconnect from the wrist. And that's because we don't have our stretch bind activated, all right? So if we go over here, we can see this little uh, little condition right here. If I go out of preview mode, we'll be able to mouse over it. And you can see that it's currently at bind right now. What we want to do is we want to double bind this, okay? So I'm going to click that, and that's going to change to double bind, all right? Or uh, stretch bind, rather. Okay, so now if I preview it, you can see there's a red, a little red nub. The nub there turns red, or the node, I guess, turns red. And now we have the proper, you know, rotation results just like this. All right. So easy as that. What you want to do for your shoulder joints, for your wrist joints, and your thigh joints, and your ankle joints is you want to do that. All right. So keep that in mind. All right. So now we can just go ahead and do the rest of the stuff as well. Let's try, for example, the uh, the head. We can bring in the head. It doesn't really matter what uh, what order we do this in. Import it in. There we go. And again, on that, we want also want the double bind. And then let's do the uh, right arm here. And just the same process over and over again. Lots of fun. We're going to stretch bind the right arm there as well. And then we'll go into the uh, right hand. And that will be under the right arm layer. So right hand right here. And then uh, add in that image. There we go. And don't worry about the layering because we're going to talk about the layering in just a moment again. So I'm just going to stretch bind that one more time. So that's pretty much the process. And then for the uh, for the hip bone, I'm going to replace this uh, image right here. So we can select this image. And we can either delete it right here or we can just replace it using the sprite editor. All right. So if I replace it using the sprite editor, you just double click that. And here is my hip. So it contains the torso without any of the other stuff there as well. So you can see that I replace everything and my legs are suddenly gone. So let's give this guy some legs. All right, so again, for the legs, we're not going to use the uh, um, sprite editor right there. We're going to replace or actually add the image rather. 
So left thigh, again, keep uh, parent transform. There's our, uh, what's your the thighs here? Left thigh, there we go. And double bind that, or stretch bind that left thigh. Keep saying double bind because it's a, uh, there's two of them right there. Anyways, let's we'll continue on with the uh, right thigh here. Don't mind me, just kind of thinking aloud here. All right, and uh, we're our right thigh. There we go, and stretch bind that as well. There we go, and finally onto the feet. All right, so we're gonna select our uh, foot right here. Uh, where is it? Oh, they'll be under the uh, thigh there. So let's do the left foot first. And we're gonna choose L foot, add image, import, and left foot, where are you? There we go. And there we go again, stretch bind that. And right thigh, finally the last one, all right? So we'll find the right foot under there, add an image for the right foot, and there it is right there. All right, again, I got stretch bind that one. We can test that out really quick, just to preview the feet, make sure they're not uh, becoming detached from the uh, legs. I have a little, uh, little dance move right there. All right, so everything looks fine and dandy. All right, so we can go to preview mode. Looks like we forgot to set the uh, stretch bone for this, or stretch bind rather, for the left arm layer. There we go. So everything looks pretty good, right? Uh, actually, we, we're going to deselect show bone here, and you can see that some of the layers are a bit off. So right now, if we uh, you know preview our hand, our hand that seems to be in front of the body, since he's kind of facing at a 45 degree angle, if we preview that, you can see that it'll actually go behind his head, which doesn't make a lot of sense, all right? So what we want to do is modify the layers now. When you're modifying the layer in the layer manager here, I recommend just going to this and uh, basically collapsing the list because you don't want all that unnecessary bone stuff in there as well. It makes it a little bit more simple this way. All right, so let's make sure that our left hand and left arm are above everything else. So we're gonna control, uh, click and drag those to uh, the top you can see we can control, click, and drag both of them there, and that'll be above, and we can change the right arm, and uh, where's the right arm? There we go. Right arm, right hand layer. Let's put these below the hip layer. All right, there we go. And our right leg needs to be below the hip layer as well, or right thigh, rather. So we'll just click and drag that. We can probably take the foot along with it there. Uh, let's just take the thigh first. We'll click and drag that down to below the uh, hip layer. All right, and uh, everything looks fine and dandy. So this is the way it's supposed to be. I think the left hand can also be above the uh, left arm there. There we go. All right, so everything's looking pretty good. So if we uh, take off our bones there, we can see the character is looking fine indeed. All right, so let's test them out in the real world. Let's go to uh, stage mode here. And basically now we can apply any of our uh, character animations, uh, side-facing motions, to this character. So if we go to our content manager, go to animations and motions, uh, G3 human, you know, we have a caveman run and throw. All right. He looks pretty happy throwing that spear. And there's also elastic folks motions like, uh, um, criticize, uh, crying, looping the cry. Um, there's perform like, uh, dances and everything like that. So this guy looks like a pretty good dancer. Anyway, so all that fun stuff that you can now apply to your character right off the bat. So pretty easy and simple, just like that. All right, so thanks so much for watching, everyone. Hopefully you learned a lot on how to create your own multi-sprite, uh, multi-layer characters. And make sure you check out our forums at forum.reillusion.com. And again, I'll see you in the next video.